Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Bo Pen. Uh, yesterday, I got a complaint from a user and say he spent several hours trying to make a MATLAB work with SOS Notebook, but he couldn't do it. Actually, although we have a SOS Live server uh, with several kernels, but uh, because MATLAB is proprietary, we can include MATLAB over there. And MATLAB is indeed one of the more difficult language to work with because of this, uh, all the tricks that we need to go through. So I did update our installation instructions for MATLAB, but I think it would be easier for everyone if I uh, record a video to explain all the details and show you how to get MATLAB work. So um, here, I, if you see the title page, you would see that it requires a lot of things, in particular Python 3.6 and MATLAB and this uh, iMATLAB kernel and SOS and the uh, the SOS MATLAB language module. So, uh, so the, uh, the the first thing you need to do is actually go to the SOS website and look at the running SOS, their installation instructions. Uh, in particular, you need to go to, uh, it's, it, can, it can be long, sorry about that, because the SOS notebook is really uh, large, and look for MATLAB. Okay, so first we need to make sure that we have the SOS installed. I think that's the easy part and we have done that. So you need to make sure that uh, say if you have your Python, that is Python 3.6. Okay, we have that and we have SOS installed. Yes, that's the SOS installed. Actually, you can also say pip uh, list and grab SOS and see what you have installed. And here you can see that we have SOS and several language modules, including Bash, Julia, and Python and R, but, but without MATLAB right now. So the SOS side is uh, the base SOS has been installed. And uh, let's see, uh, then we need to have a version of MATLAB, which is uh, 2017B. So I, I did get a version of MATLAB here. Let's see what's the version of MATLAB. And the version is R27B. Okay, that is okay. And then we need to install MATLAB engine for, for the Python because we need to communicate with Python and the uh, and MATLAB. And MATLAB. So, Installing engine for Python and basically you need to go to some root directory of MATLAB and the external engine Python and run Python setup py install over there. So let's see. So that place is actually uh, it's called applications and MATLAB. We have an external directory over there. So at 10. I think this is for Mac, but I believe that the um, the same procedure follows for Windows and other systems. And we have the, uh, what is that, the engines and the Python. Okay, we are here. So there's a setup, setup py over, over there. So we just say Python setup.py and install. Okay, this is quick. So writing that, we have that installed. So let's go back to here. And because of a bug with MATLAB, oh, that's unfortunate, but because this uh, MATLAB 2. Uh, 2017 is very new, uh, you need to turn off MATLAB's the usage statistic collection system to, to work with SOS. To resolve this issue, um, you need to go to the environment preference and the Okay, uncheck improve MATLAB. Right, let's see. So basically, we need to go to the MATLAB and check preference. Where is the preference? Um, home. There should be preference. Okay, preference is here. And we go to, yeah, so MATLAB general. And there's a help improve MATLAB here. So basically you say uncheck that thing. So, so I think the problem was that when you are using MATLAB with 
as well as while trying to send the user feedback to, to, to MATLAB. Something wrong happened inside of MATLAB that crashes MATLAB. So let's say, okay, okay, this part is done. So we don't need the GUI, uh, uh, the GUI of MATLAB anymore. I, we can close that. Okay, then there are two different impl implementations of MATLAB kernels and um, because one of them has a bug, so we need to use another one, which is iMATLAB. iMATLAB is here. So basically, what we need to do is install iMATLAB and then run the iMATLAB install. Okay, so the, I have the commands here. So basically, that's the command we need to use. Let's uh, let's see the uh, just go to some temp directory if you have it and then uh, pip install uh, iMATLAB. Okay, this is easy, and then uh, let's say Jupyter kernel spec list. Uh, we don't have MATLAB. Oh, oh yes, uh, we forgot one thing because. Uh, we also need to install the kernel, okay? So that's Python, you run the iMATLAB install user. Mm. Okay, good. Now we see the kernel. So what, what we can do is Jupyter Notebook. And then we can start a MATLAB kernel and let's say this is the regular my, I, MATLAB, so nothing fancy over there. It's a bit slow, but because you, you know, the um, starting MATLAB can be slow, but it should work. Come on, fire up. Okay, we have the A here, and then so this is the this this is uh, MATLAB by itself. So uh, it has nothing to do with SOS yet. So the last step, let's see. So after we verify the MATLAB works, and the last step is to install the MATLAB language module for SOS, and. Let's see. Oh, uh, we need to shut down the kernel yet. That's Control C to shut down the server or uh, the uh, Jupyter server and shut down MATLAB. Okay. So what we need to do is uh, is that's the uh, uh, what is that pip install SLS MATLAB. Okay. So. Now everything should be working. So let's see. Let's start the Jupyter Notebook again. And then let's start a SOS Notebook. Okay, you, if you see the sign up panel, this is SOS. And then let's just uh, say, Yes, if you see the MATLAB, the capitalized MATLAB, that is that's properly installed. And let's just just test something and say as as equal to one. Yeah, it does take a while to start. This is something I don't really like about the uh, uh, MATLAB. Okay, so we have MATLAB working here. So I, let's just try to see MATLAB works by entering some basic examples. Um, now let me see. What examples should we use? I'm trying to find an example here. Um, okay, so let's just say uh, x equals two from one to pi uh, by this one. Oh, 
Oh, this is no, no, we need to say this is MATLAB. Okay, so we go, we have the X over there, and then from the uh, from from SOS we can say get X from MATLAB. It's easy, and then see what is X here. X is no, 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 this is wrong. Uh, we have only, we have nothing over there. That that's, must be wrong. Oh, sorry, we have this one. Okay, this is right. So we have the from 1 to pi, we say 0 0.01 interval, and then we get that again. And then, and you can see that if you have a MATLAB array here, if you transfer that to SOS, then you get a NumPy array in, in Python. So in the, in the same, same way, say if you say y equals to x squared for, no, I just try to do something for t in x. If we have a y over there, and then if we go to MATLAB, and then we say uh, get y, because right now we are getting y from SOS, so we don't need to say specify this is getting from somewhere, and this is a y. And you can see y is an array over there. So uh, I think you can just do all the fancy things with MATLAB and SOS and try, try to transfer variables between the kernels. And as a routine, I think, for whatever kernel, uh, I would like to say conclude with get empty cars from R. So what this one does is actually start a R kernel and try to get is the famous empty cars, uh, the data frame from R. Oh, we already get that? Oh no, this is, again, this is SOS, sorry. So I think it's easier if you always want to use MATLAB, you can choose SOS change from SOS to MATLAB so that all the new cells would be in MATLAB. Anyway, so now this is MATLAB and we get empty cars from R. And what is our empty cars in MATLAB? Okay, so you can see that we have transferred a data frame from R into MATLAB, which is a 32 by 11 table. Um, I think this concludes our video, and I hope that this helps you to use MATLAB with SOS Notebook. Thank you.